What is good friends, we are back with the black and white match between Black Oblivion and Googie. This is game 2 for Smoktus 25's playoffs. This team was used earlier by Brofist, I'm pretty sure this is like Choppel, Spadefta with Rocks, Bulky Lefties, Rotom, Bandrex, Scarflando, uh, Sugar Jirachi with Icy Wind, and I don't remember the Lottie set, but I think it's probably Specs. So here turn 1, he could just go for Willow Wisp, uh, burn the Ferrothorn. Googie could get up a spike or switch up, switch into Reuni if he doesn't want to get burned, but I assume he's just gonna get up a spike. Also, I think we're gonna see um, Sleep Talk on one of these two, or maybe even on both. You need some sort of Sleep Absorber in Black White, um, because Spore is like busted. If you switch out Sleep Tombs, get reset, and also you can put um, Grass types to sleep in Gen 5. But yeah, um, Black Oblivion can Volt Switch out here. I assume we see a Lead Sheet or Power Whip from Googly. And most likely a Lead Sheet, because he's burned. And Black Oblivion can either go to Terrakion or to Tita. Uh, Trouble Tita, sometimes carry Fire Blast or Super Power, so he can threaten the Ferrothorn and potentially get up his rocks with that, or if he goes to Rakion, he just has to break correct um, between CCing and Stone Edging and then Bandrack. Should be able to get a good amount of damage on Googly's team. I also don't think that Pharaohs carry Protect in Black White, so he can't really scout um, what the Bandrack would lock itself into. He would have to like predict correct. Also, um, yeah, this is obviously game 2, Black Oblivion won game 1 in Auras. So Googly has to win this to bring it to a game 3, which would be um, Sun and Moon, and I obviously want to see that. That's like the gen I know the most about, that's the current gen. Like, I never played Black Rat myself, and I kind of stopped playing Auras. But, I mean, FPL kind of got me interested into Auras again, but for some reason then I kind of just stopped paying attention to Auras. But yeah, okay, so just Volt and Titar. You see the lead sheet, and obviously Ghoulie shouldn't stay in here on a potential Fire Blast. Uh, I could see him going Heatran or Landris. And yeah, Black Oblivion can just go for Rocks here. I mean, Rocks is just a play that gets you something out of the turn guaranteed, no matter if your opponent stays in or switches. Like, the Burned Pharaoh is not going to be able to do that much to the T-Tar. So Trent Orlando should come out for sure. Um, so if Googie goes Landris, then he can get up his own rocks. If he go, he goes Trent, okay. So if Bio has superpower, he can um, go for that. If he doesn't have superpower, I assume we're gonna see a switch into Rotom. So I'm Googly here. Um, if he has Protect, he could go for that to scout, but he just goes Hardlands to scout for superpower, which is also a good play. He does um, cash in on his superpower, and now Beal is pretty much forced into Rotom here. I guess he could go to his own land, but I assume Rotom is gonna come out. Uh, Googly is either gonna get up his rocks or U turn out. It depends if this is the rocker. If this is the rocker, that means it's not. Scarf. Like either this is Scarf or if this is not Scarf, then I guess the Tar could be Scarf as well. But I don't think Scarf Tar is common in Black White. <laughs> but yeah, he does just go Rotom. Googly Hard U turns. This gives him a switch into Amoongus, and now he could put something to sleep. And yeah, we're gonna see either the Lari or the Lando most likely come out here on a Spore. Uh, obviously, he's gonna Volt Switch because Rotom outspeeds Amoongus. And he goes into Landris um, on the most likely Spore, and that confirms that he probably has Sleep Talk. So if he doesn't have Sleep Talk, I guess he's gonna go Lardy here, but I assume he's just gonna go for Sleep Talk and hope to pull something good like U-Turn or Earthquake. Uh, Googly's either gonna stay and try to get some damage on the Landris, or he could switch out into his own Landris. But I assume he's just gonna stay in here and Giga Drain, get some damage on the Landris, or see what Bio wants to go to. Because like if Bio goes to Ladi even here and doesn't have Sleep Dog and Lander, that's not that bad for Google because he has always has a Tita on the back and he also has a Tren. I mean I guess the Ladi could have Surf, but he has a Ferrothorn, he can play around it. If it's a choice Ladi, it cannot go for Surf really. So it does pull a Earthquake with Sleep Talk. The thing is now even if you stay in with Landris, I don't think Google should risk it, he should just switch out and get his regenerator, but even if uh, Black Oblivion stays in, he still has to pull a good move, like <laughs> Like if Googly switches here into like Landris and he pulls Earthquake. Actually going Landris is a bit risky because this could potentially pull the HP Ice with Sleep Talk. So I don't know if I would have gone if going Landris to play. 
But he does wake up, so Sleep Dog obviously fails. So this is, um, we see it's Leftovers Landris on Google's side. So I assume this is par probably the rocker then, right? So I assume we're gonna see the rocks go up here. I don't know why he didn't do that earlier, but I guess he just wanted the momentum with U-turn to put something to sleep. So I would just um, vote switch here if I'm Black Oblivion. It's really obvious that the Lando is going to U-turn out. You see that the Lando is faster because it got leftovers before the Rotom got leftovers. And yeah, the Lando is the only ground type and everything else gets vote switched on. So I would definitely vote switch. I get Pain Slit is I guess an option, but he doesn't. He just volts. And now you can go Terrakion or Tita again. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I assume Terrakion comes out this time. Um, he should superpower on Tita, but I don't know if he also has Fire Blast. Like Tita was superpower rocks. I assume Pursuit or Crunch, and then the last move. I actually don't know what the last move would be. Oh yeah, Terrakion comes out and has to take a spike on the rocks uh, chip damage, and now it's between Stone Edge and Close Combat. It's kind of like a 50-50 here. Mm. I mean, the thing is, does Googly need this Ferrothorn? Because he also has a Mungus for Rotom. He doesn't necessarily need this. Um, so I could see Googly staying in here. The um, If he breaks the CC, then... Like, his Mungus is, um, I think, with Rocks up, Mungus is at 60 or something. So Mungus doesn't want to come out here because it would get destroyed by Stone Edge. So I don't think he's going to go Mungus. So he does stay in. Um, not sure if he was willing to sack it or if he breaks that edge, but Googly gets the play correct there. And now Stone Edge doesn't even 2 it KO, so Googly is probably just gonna gyro ball again. His last move might be Power Whip, or he um, just doesn't want to risk missing, that's why he gyro balls. Also, gyro ball might be stronger than Power Whip, or like around the same power versus Terrakion, because Terrakion is um, relatively fast, and obviously, um, Pharaoh's on a slow as piss. <laughs> but yeah, Bio can't really switch into this. Because with rocks up. So I assume he's just. I mean, he can edge again, and I don't think it's a roll, though, so Ferrothorn's gonna live it. Like, if he goes Rotom, it doesn't get him anything, then Googly can uh, get up a leech sheet next turn if he goes Rotom. And if he goes Tar, he has to take rocks plus Gyrable, so yeah, he just stays in. And it's gonna be a double down, because Burn is gonna kill the. take out the Pharaoh, I mean. And now, why is my screen lagging? <laughs> Did I DC or something? Okay, we're back. I DC for a bit, but it's fine. So, Beer goes Lando, Googly goes into Heatran. So, the thing is, the Lando has to lock into a move, and I assume he's gonna U turn because he doesn't wanna let the opposing Lando or something in for free. Um, this is probably a bulky turn with like lefties, and he shows protect. So, that's amazing for Googly. Because now he knows that the Landers is locked in the U-turn. He gets all the momentum, he can stay in with the heat turn here, knowing that the Lando can't go for Earthquake. And he's probably gonna throw off a Toxic. I think this is um, Protect Toxic Trend with maybe Lava Plume and Earth Power. I actually used that set in Gen 7 a while, like in one of my videos, actually like a few weeks ago. But yeah, he does throw out a Toxic, he catches, catches the Ladi. And now um, he can just protect again to see what the Ladi wants to go for. Uh, we could see a Surf coming out, we could see a Trick coming out from the Ladi here. Protect is just pretty risk free. You get leftovers back, the Ladi wants to stay in, it has to take a Sandstorm Chip plus Toxic Chip. And what double can Bio even make? He could double into T-Tar on attack, but that doesn't even gain him that much. And double into Rotom would just mean... Um, yeah, like Rotom is not a threat at all. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, Googly is like in a really good position. Like, I don't have enough black and white knowledge to tell you guys if he predicted the Terrak to go for Stone Edge earlier or if he was just willing to sack his Ferrothorn. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Oh, yeah, he chose Trick. Um, Googly, if he doesn't want his Heatran to get crippled, he can just switch out here. Um, probably in the T Tar. Black Oblivion is. Should anticipate that and pull a double into Rotom or Landorus. But yeah, I don't really see Bio winning this game. This protection is such a nuisance in this game. <laughs> like, it kind of beats everything besides Rotom. And like, versus Landorus, if Landorus clicks Earthquake, then 
Bio has to double the next turn because that gives Googly a free switch into his own Landris. Like he train annoys the fuck out of Bio's entire team. He does go uh, double into Rotom Prick in the T-Tar. And the thing is, this Tita might be Choice Scarf because the Lander wasn't Scarf and he didn't have another Scarf and his team is relatively slow. Like, I don't think Scarf does common at all in Blackwell, but it's still, like, I don't think he's gonna have a team without a Scarf or on a slow team like this. So, um, the play here is will always Whisper Voltage, but yeah, Tita turns out to be Choice Scarf and just picks up the Rotom with a Crunch. And I think this game is pretty much over. I mean, he can go... He can go Lando here. Um, he can go Jirachi because Crunch is neutral on Jirachi in Gen 5. Because um, Steel does resist Dark in Gen 5. But he goes Landris. So he's either going to U-turn here or HPIs. Um, HPIs would be predicting the opposing Landris to come out. But yeah, Googly has a huge lead. He does just go Landris. Let's see if Bio um, predicts that and goes for HPIs or if he just U turns. So he does HPIs predicting that. And now um, Googly can make a. Th pe oh God, what am I saying? He can either sack this or he can um, go into like Heatran here. So he does go into Tita. Tita obviously would have been able to either HPIs. Heatran would have been able to either HPIs. Like he has a lot of options there. But yeah, um, Tita can just go for Crunch here. This Ladi is not choice scarf. His uh, scarf has the Landris, so Ladi's gonna go down to that. And he didn't have a good switch in either. So now Landris or Jirachi, yeah, Jirachi comes out, and this Jirachi is like icy wind. Um, so he's gonna have to try to hex this with with a thunder. So he's trying to get a para. He doesn't get it, and I think that's pretty much the end of the game. His last hope was getting that para, uh, but I don't think he could have won anyway. Like the Heatran in the back was super annoying. <laughs> when his Tita goes down, then also Reuniclus could have won. Uh, Amungus also was annoying. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna get a game three. It's gonna be um, Sun and Moon, which I'm hyped for. And yeah, sorry if I made like any mistakes. Uh, I don't play black and white, but yeah. Hope you guys still enjoyed and peace out.